Yeah, we can we could look at the uh, PTR. Just see what's popping on the 10.2 side of things. I'm down. Oh, isn't there like a better system for replacing? No. no. Sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, but... Oh, that is kind of nice. Just want to buy a full set of gear real quick so that we can make sure that we're doing the most damage. Verdant Gladiator. How do you guys feel about the when Pyroblast and Flame Strike critically strike, you gain Searing Rage, increasing your critical strike damage by 3% for 12 seconds, stacking up to 15 times. Activating Combust gives you the full damage but oh well that's obviously very good okay let's see fire's damage make sure my spec is good all right uh we'll, we'll, we'll let this stack okay this is fire damage oh that's annoying wow yeah no that that is a lot of damage but I want to try that again because my keybind was fucked up at the start. It was a uh, scorch. So you crit? Oh wait, no, it's only it's only pyro crits. I see. If you get a hyperthermia, you are big balling. Fire? Why does fire feel like I'm fucking trucking? I'm doing big damage as fire. Current two set. What does it even do? <laughs> Crease spell damage. Yeah, that sucks to lose, definitely. Dude, I hate tier sets, man. It just feels like so good when you get a good one and then you lose it. And it just sucks. Alright, so the current tier set is... Consuming clear casting grants additional spell damage by 2%. Yeah, so you get a clear casting. You get arcane battery. Oh, and the other one is forethought. Okay, and then the, the big buff is called... Arcane artillery. Hmm. I wish I could see how much my missile sticks are doing. Oh, there we go. It yeah, like wasn't working. 50k, but that's probably not the case on players. Not sure. Not sure. I mean, it seems pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm definitely not impressed with the the arcane tier set. I mean, it sounds like cool and fun and stuff, but I don't know. Definitely a downgrade for sure. Alright, let's try the other specs. Alright, Frost tier set. Glacial spike damage increased by 10%. And it explodes when it shatters the frozen target, dealing AoE damage. 20% of the damage dealt. Glacial spike has a 40% chance to trigger brain freeze. Hmm. I kind of, like, I've already talked about this, but I really dislike the fact that the tier set for Frost is based around Glacial. Meaning, the Frostbolt build, it's like... An incentive to not play the frostbolt build but let's say the frostbolt build just turns out to be better like <laughs> you just don't have a tier set because you're not using glacial spike it's like a weird uh i don't know it's just weird but let me build up some uh, see how much damage we're doing seems pretty much the same sending in my glish didn't give me a flurry yeah, here it is. Yeah. I don't know. Like, two set could be good. Because Glacial, it's kind of... This is, like, not a good test, honestly. Because the, the Glacial Spike is AoE. And Glacial Spike is already AoE with splitting. Yo, what's up, YouTube? So, I hope you guys enjoyed those, like, small little clips from my stream about the new tier sets that are coming in the patch 9 po or uh, 10.2 um but i did just want to show you a little bit of the changes that have happened since those clips were recorded so first i do want to give you some like initial thoughts on the tier sets um so i think the arcane tier set is going to be pretty good now that they've made these changes that i'll go over here in a second i think the fire tier set is also going to be very very good so i think it's going to be either between fire and arcane in terms of which one's going to be stronger for the next patch i think the frost tier set needs a lot of work i think the glacial spike idea needs to be revisited 
I don't think you should have a tier set based around the glacial spike. Um, but yeah, anyways, there hasn't been any changes about that. But so what has changed with the arcane tier set is that the buff forethought, which is the one that you get from consuming the clear casting, it's going to give you that nice damage buff. That buff has been increased to 20 seconds now, was 15 before. And I think this is a great change because it felt kind of like with the new tier set you had a lot of buffs to maintain um because you wanted to you know maintain that damage every time you clear castings this is going to make that a little bit easier and then also this was another big concern i had with the arcane one is that you needed to cast six uh clear castings to get the big aoe missiles and now that's only three clear castings so i think that's going to be really good um and i'm looking forward to those changes and you know be, be, being able to play around with that whenever it goes live now the fire one uh flat out just got a damage bonus and this is gonna so this is gonna be huge this basically means that on your bust i mean it, it's 50 percent more damage on not 50 percent more damage sorry um the critical strike damage bonus of searing rage is now 50 percent more effective so you're gonna basically just get another I think it's around 8 to 10% more damage on your combust, which is a huge number, guys. I mean, like, that, that is a huge number. So, fire, I think, will be insane as well. We're going to have to see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. And I can't wait for the 10.2. I hope you guys are just as excited for 10.2 as I am. And, yeah, there's a lot of other class changes in here. I'll leave this, actually, in the description for you guys so you can see all the other changes. But, yeah, not so much for mages so far. Uh, just the tier sets coming in so far for mages hopefully more maybe not i don't know we'll see hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out